Hi, Stu Schwartz from MasterMathMentor.com. This is video AB38. The topic is Integral Applications, and it covers the AB Manual, pages 223 and 224. In this video, we will be looking at integration applications, word problems involving integrals. There are two rules that we will, will be using quite a bit in our solutions. First, the integral of the rate of change, r prime, to give the accumulated change from time a to time b. And that rule says that the integral from a to b of r prime of t dt is equal to r of t evaluated from a to b, which is r of b minus r of a. Stated another way, it says that capital R of b is equal to capital R of a plus the integral from a to b of r prime of t dt. Rule two is how the accumulation of little f from time a to time x is changing at time x. This rule states that the derivative with respect to x of the integral from a to x of little f of t dt is equal to the derivative with respect to x of capital F of x minus capital F of a. And since capital F of a is simply a constant, then this is equal to capital F prime of x, which is just little f of x. The first problem reads, people enter an airport and immediately get into the security lines in which there are already 100 people in line. The graph of E of t, representing the rate at which people enter the security line, is shown on the figure on the screen, where t is measured in minutes and E of t is measured in people per minute. Now, using the relationship we've learned, E of t is measured in people per minute, so the integral from t1 to t2 of E of t dt represents the area under the curve, and that is the accumulated people in the line between t1 and t2. The first two questions are simple. First, in A, we ask the number of people who joined the line in the first half hour. And this, of course, is the integral from 0 to 30 of e of t dt. And that represents the area under the curve. So, in the first 20 minutes, we have 20 times 20. And between uh, 20 and 30, we have a trapezoid whose area is the base 10 divided by 2 times the sum of the heights, 20 plus 40. So this is 400 plus 300, which is 700 people. B is slightly different, and you have to pay attention to the semantics. It asks the number of people in line at the end of the first hour. So we have to first be concerned with the 100 people who are already in line and then add in the integral from 0 to 60 of e of t dt. So we have 100 plus the area under the rectangle with from 0 to 20, which is 20 times 20, plus the area of the trapezoid from 20 to 40, which is 20 over 2 times the sum of the heights, which is 20 plus 60. And finally, the last, which is also a trapezoid, which is from 40 to 60, which is 20 over 2 times 60 plus 10. And that gives 100 plus 400 plus 800 plus 700. And we have 2,000 people who have been in line at the end of the first hour. Let us continue with this problem, but expand it. We still have our 100 people originally in line, and that the rate that people enter the security line is E T, which is in blue. But now we say that 20 people per minute are processed through security. 
and that means we have the function p of t, which is equal to 20. And that is shown on the graph as a horizontal dashed line. Therefore, the rate that the length of the line to go through security is changing is e of t minus p of t. The accumulated change in the line's length from 0 to time t is simply the area under the curve, which is the integral from 0 to t of e of x minus p of x dx. And now the number of people in line at time t we will call L of t, which has the original 100 plus the integral from 0 to t of e of x minus p of x dx. Question C asks for the value and the meaning of L of 30. Using our formula above, L of 30 equals 100 plus the integral from 0 to 30 of e of x minus p of x dx, which is 100 plus the integral from 0 to 30 of e of x dx minus the integral from 0 to 30 of p of x dx, which is 100 plus the area under the e curve from 0 to 30, which is 700, minus the area under the red curve, from 0 to 30, which is 30 times 20. So we end up with 200 people in line after 30 minutes. This makes sense as in the first 20 minutes, the people who are adding to the line is negated by the people who are going through security. And therefore, we are only really adding the, peop the extra people in line from t equals 20 to t equals 30. D asks for the number of people in line at the end of the first hour. This, of course, is L of 60, which is 100 plus the integral from 0 to 60 of e of x minus p of x dx which is 100 plus the integral from 0 to 60 of e of x dx minus the integral from 0 to 60 of p of x dx. And this is 100 plus the 1,900 people who had to wait in line in security minus the 60 times 20 or 1,200 people that got processed through security and we end up with 800 people in line at the end of the first hour. Obviously, this number has increased dramatically because, for the most part, there are, the people joining the line is much greater than the number of people being processed. So, continuing with the problem, we repeat that the number of people in line at time t is called L of t, which is 100 plus the integral from 0 to t of e of x minus p of x dx. So, if we are interested in how the number of people in line is changing at time t, then this is L prime of t, which is the derivative with respect to t, of the integral from 0 to t of e of x minus p of x dx. And we know by the second fundamental theorem of calculus that this is simply e of t minus p of t. e asks for the value and meaning of L prime of 30. This is a typical AP exam question where you have to do a calculation and then interpret the meaning of it. L prime of 30 is the derivative with respect to t of the integral from 0 to 30 of e of x minus p of x dx. And therefore, that is equal to simply e of 30 minus p of 30. e of 30 is 40 in blue, and p of 30 is... 20 in red. So our answer is simply 20. Our interpretation is that at t equals 30 minutes, the line is getting longer by 20 people per minute. 
F asks when the length of the security line is at a minimum or a maximum. This is an important question as people who are manning the security lines would like to know this information beforehand. If they see that the line is getting longer, then they can have extra people there to perhaps mitigate the length of time people wait. And if we see that the line is short, we can maybe give some of the security people a, a break. We know that the length of the security line is defined by the L variable. And since we want to maximize or minimize it, we have to take the derivative of L, which is the derivative with respect to T of the integral from zero to T of E of X minus P of X, which is E of T minus P of T. And we're going to set that equal to zero. That means that e of t is equal to p of t, and because p of t is equal to 20, then e of t is equal to 20. We know that e of t is equal to 20 when t is less than or equal to 20 and greater than or equal to 0, and also when t is equal to 56. How do we know this? We know that e of t is equal to 20 when t is between 0 and 20 because at that those values, the length of the line is not changing as people are processed at the same rate as they join the line. We get t is equal to 56 by setting 20 equal to the equation of the line that passes through the points 40, 60, and 60. 10, which is 160 minus 2.5t, and we end up with t is equal to 56. L of t is equal to 100 be, for any value between t is equal to 0 and 20 inclusive, for the reasons we just stated. The length of the line L of 56 is equal to 100 plus the integral from 0 to 56 of E of x dx minus the integral from 0 to 56 of P of x dx, which is equal to 100 plus 400 plus 800 plus 16 over 2 times the quantity 20, 60 plus 20 minus 56 times 20 and that is 820. Finally, L of 60 is equal to 800. So we conclude that the line is at a minimum during the first 20 minutes and at a maximum of 820 people at T is equal to 56. Unlike problem one, problem two will require a calculator. In a large catering company, cheese is constantly being used for sandwiches and deli trays. Suppose cheese is cut at the rate of C of T is equal to 18, the square root of sine of pi T over 5, for 5 hours. And cheese is used. By used, we mean removed from the tray and eaten or put on sandwiches at the rate of u of t equals negative 1.15t squared plus 5.8t plus 6.6 .6 over a six hour period. Each are measured in thousands of slices per hour. And at t is equal to zero, there are 1,000 slices of cheese that have already been cut and available for use. We show the graphs of these two functions on the screen. We are first asked to write an expression for t of t, which represents the total number of slices available at any time t. Since everything is measured in thousands of slices, we'll just define t of t as 1 plus the integral from 0 to t of c of x minus u of x dx. However, there is a slight problem there because 
they are not defined on the same intervals. C is only defined on the interval 0 to 5, while U is defined on the interval 0 to 6. The way we can fix that is to redefine C of x to be 0 for x is any value between 5 and 6. B wants to know the maximum and minimum number of slices available to be taken from the trays and when those two events occur. To maximize and minimize t, we take the derivative of t. So the derivative with respect to t of 1 plus the integral from 0 to t of c of x minus u of x dx is, by the second fundamental theorem, c of t minus u of t, and we set that equal to 0, meaning that c of t is equal to u of t. And using the calculator, we find that t is equal to 0.362 and t is equal to 4.605. We now make a table with the critical values of t and the endpoints. So we look at t equals 0, 0 0.362, 0.4, 4.605. We also use 5 when the cutting process ends, and we also use the final endpoint 6. And we look at t of t in those values, getting 1, 0 0.317, 12.836, 12.065, and 8.448. Again, realizing that these are measured in thousands, so we find that the minimum or maximum number of pieces of cheese available is minimum 317 at t equals 0.362 hours and 12,836 slices of cheese at t is equal to 4.605 hours. Finally, an often asked question is the average number of slices of cheese on the tray over the six hour period. And we know that to be the total number of slices of cheese on the tray divided by 6. And that is 1,000 times the quantity 1 plus the integral from 0 to 6 of c of x minus u of x dx all over 6. And that is 8,448 over 6 or 1,408 slices of cheese on average are on the tray. In the early days of COVID-19, all the talk was of flattening the curve, that is, slowing down the growth of the virus using social distancing, masks, and closing the economy. If the rate of virus spread could be lessened, then the accumulation of COVID cases can be reduced. It is simply an area under the curve integration application. In the final set of videos, we will examine how to build functions that model the number of people with COVID by analysis of its growth rate. This is the study of differential equations, a very important outgrowth in our study of calculus.